Good morning world. Um, today's subject on the drawing board is Steve Martin. That's chosen by Tom Richmond. Cheers for that Tom, good subject. Um, now we're going to have a quick breakdown of Steve Martin. As per usual I'm just going to do a quick three, four, five minute sketch. Um, but we're going to talk about his face because he's a very interesting kind of guy. Personally I'm more aware of the young Steve Martin um, as opposed to the older Steve Martin whose face has kind of changed because his hairline's receded and it's got longer whereas the younger Steve Martin was much more a wide-eyed kind of guy um, now facially he's very very interesting um, he's he's actually got a very prominent nose very broad uh, bridge across his nose but he doesn't have a huge nose so I didn't know whether to make it a feature or not. So with Steve, what I've gone for is I've tried to get an impression of him because he's a very animated guy. And I want an impression, as you can see up here, you know, I want an impression of his face as opposed to an actual factual rendition, a uh, rendering of. Um, now you may see I've already done a pencil sketch. I have had to think about this one a few times deciding which way to go with it. Now I believe that all faces have a flow and that drawings therefore should have a flow as well. So I like to try and get the flow right with my subjects. Already done a pencil sketch, saved about 30 seconds to a minute on that. Um, I'm going to start, I'm going to launch straight in because with Steve, main thing with him is his eyes. His eyes are way far apart, way way far apart, like off his head, you know, completely. But He's also got very small eyes and very squinty eyes. Um, and it's very interesting because they change totally from the sympathetic eyes to uh, the slanty eyes whenever he smiles because he's got big cheekage and yeah, he's got a very rubbery face, so that happens. Anyway, enough of the waffle. I'm gonna cut in with my starting point today, which I think is gonna be that eye. Yeah. I'm gonna start off with a little skinny one here which is where his crease comes in. And then a bit fatter for a little smiley, smiley uh, eye there. Right over here for the other side. And something like, oh God, my pen's a bit scratchy today. Just trim the lead so the pen's scratchy. Great. Uh, yeah. You do a little crisscross like that gives the indication of the underneath of the eye and also the laugh line. That's a bit scrappy that actually, I don't like that. Um, yeah, nose wise, pretty big nose. I'm gonna start up here with like the lobe of his nose. Come down here, it's not a pointy nose, it's quite a bulbous nose. And that's more or less the flow of it, okay? So his eyes have set out the parameters of where I can draw and the rest just fills in from there. Um, his smile line, as you can see up here, I mean, his cheek line goes way up high near his eye, above his nose. So we're gonna do that one up here. There you go, nice and easy. His mouth is not particularly big, it's very small. In fact, most of his photos are of him pursing his lips because he doesn't like his teeth. And he's going, hmm. And he's got a little, what we call a W mouth. So I'm gonna give him an indication of his W mouth here. There you go, down in the middle and up. Little indication of the tiny teeth there. And he's got quite a prominent jaw, although not square jaw, but it is a big prominent jaw. And the way you push the jaw forward is dependent on where the bottom lip comes. So we give the indication of the bottom lip coming in front of his teeth, like that, which then makes it look like his jaw is protruding, okay? Nice simple technique there. So therefore it's push the jaw over that way. All right. Um, I'm gonna finish off some of the uh, other defining lines here. Forehead, as he's gotten older, his forehead's got higher. So I'm gonna, what are we gonna do? Yeah, we can do that all in one, can't we? I'm gonna start with the jaw down here at the bottom somewhere. Don't wanna give him a square jaw. I did originally, but now I don't. We're just going to give him prominent jaw, which comes up here with the flow, also indicates the hair and the forehead and meets nicely with that line there with a little glitch. Well done, George. <laughs> <laughs> 
but we're not too precious because that is going to be an indication of his little flappy toupee fringe which goes along there we can always adjust that okay um i'm being a bit slow with this one sorry guys that's the indication of the side of his face he's also got lots and lots of uh well should we do that i don't know yeah hmm it's interesting which way to do the lines on this because he's got concave lines there or do we do concave line there convex line there hmm i'm not going to ponder on that one we're just going to do concave um yeah hair wise uh he's got a diamond shaped face okay diamond shaped face so you know his smile goes out here and as an indicator of that we're going to use the hair to bring in the side of the face so there you go I'm just going to do that and he's also got very low ears i think probably because whenever he speaks and whenever he performs he throws his head back and looks down his nose at you therefore nose goes up ears go down again to emphasize that we're going to do the ears down here just a very basic ear. You know what I'm like with ears. I like to make them nice and basic. There you go. That's his ear. Top of his hair. Now, when he was younger, he had a massive, big, floppy hair fringe. And his face, as I say, was a lot wider. But as he's getting older, his hair seems to have been piling up on top and less on the side. So we're going to do a bit of an indication there of height on his hair. Um, what else have we... Oh, yeah, nostril. Whenever he performs he's got flary nostrils normally you can't really see them because he's got quite a bobbly nose but as he's got his mouth open and he's performing we're going to give an indication of the flare and the, the breathing and everything else that's involved by giving him a flary nostril a bit of deep shadow there but not entirely black because entirely black would then clash with the mouth and the teeth all right um oh yeah i was going to do the eyebrows Eyebrows wise, he had really strong eyebrows as a young guy. As he's gotten older, they've gone a bit, yeah. Again, typical indication of a male face is the fact there's no real gap between his eye and his eyebrow, but he does do a very uh, sympathetic eyebrow, as I like to call it. Which we're gonna try with this here brush pen. Are we gonna do it with this? Yeah, I think so. No, that was run out. Okay, we'll scrap that. we do this one with a big pen. All right. His eyebrow goes up at the side and then goes like that. Oh, that's interesting. What kind of ink is in there? Um, and again, on that side and up. Okay, those are his eyebrows. I think I've refilled that pen. You see the difference between ink, between that and that? Not good. We must remember we don't like that pen. Um, the rest of them, he always wears a, shoot, wears a suit and tie, sorry. So we're going to give him... Indication of suit and tie, which is basically a bunch of diamonds. Another one there, another crisscross there. You've got a tie. He spends half his life shrugging his shoulders as well. So we're going to give him, um, yeah, we're going to give him shruggy shoulders going in there. But I decided earlier I was going to give him some hands as well, just for effect, you know. Because he does have his hands, I'm going to give him some little teeth going in there as well yeah uh, yeah we like that okay hands uh, yeah he's got fairly you know, contorted kind of hands I'm gonna do my sort of graphic interpretation of those because he does like to point at his features while he's doing himself and a bit of a thumb going on there And the other side, pretty much the same. There you go, index finger up to face, knuckles going back in a little fan-shaped hand. Yep. And that's more or less all I need for the hands. For now. And this goes like, yeah, follow the line up to the shoulder. And this one here, again. Okay, uh, if you want to, you can do the 1970s 
flared lapels on his jacket. Uh, you can even do an indication of the bottom lip down there, but you don't really need to. Uh, I'm going to do a quick addition of some grey here because he's got very dark, deep, um, deep set eyes. Um, and normally I would give an indication of that by sort of, there you go, drawing the, the hoods in shadow under there. Suddenly his eyes have gone whoop, way back. This one, I wasn't sure whether to do this one or not. We can do, see how it looks. Not too heavy. Okay, nostril just to make clear. You can do drop shading here, drop shadow to bring the nose out if need be. Um, hair wise, do you want him old? Do you want him young? We can just give some grey hair swirly bits there. Okay, again, I'm not being too precious about this because this is not finished artwork to me this is just um, a sketch which is hopefully going to go into a production drawing okay by that I mean vector of course on the PC um, there you go do another drop shadow under there just to bring the face forward I could work on this forever but there's no real point fingernails you know what I mean fingernails you can do fingernails you can do curly swirly knuckles if you want to you can do all that malarkey but there's no need. There you go. Anyway, that's my Steve Martin. He also has um, what I call a V-line in the middle of his nose, which only comes out when he frowns. doesn't frown that often. He's normally kind of smiley, happy guy. But he's got that V-line there, which you can put in if you want to. Also, you can stick in crease across the forehead there to, to emphasise his uh, eyebrows. In fact, I might go over those with a bit of black because I'm not too happy with that ink. That was a bit rubbish. Yeah, see I should have done it with this small one in the first place. Uh, live and learn, live and learn. Yeah, and that. There you go, a little downturn on the end there gives him the half moon shape. So it looks like you're looking up on his eye. Makes him a bit more smiley. Okay, that's it. I think that's basically your Steve Martin. I'm going to scan that, I'm going to put it on the PC, we're going to make a vector out of it, and hopefully it will be up on Tom Richmond's daily Coronacature page. Okay, chaps, thanks for your time. Stay safe. Bye.